Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India This is a model for discrete time Marco chain, lecture 6, time reversible Marco chain and then application of a irreducible Marco chain in queuing models. So in this lecture I am planning to give the time reversible Marco chain and uh, how to compute the stationary distribution in an easy way. Then I am going to give applications of irreducible Marco chain in queuing models. Here irreducible Marco chain means it is a DTMC model because later we are going to give the applications of irreducible continuous time Marco chain in queuing models also in the later lectures. And also I am going to give few simple examples. What is the meaning of a time reversible Marco chain? First let me explain how to construct the time reversible Marco chain. Consider a DTMC, it is of course a time homogeneous discrete time Marco chain. You see the collection, it is in the usual way xn minus 2, xn minus 1, xn, xn plus 1, xn plus 2 and so on. Now you trace the DTMC backwards, that means uh, you know the first all xn plus 2, then xn plus 1, then you know what is xn, then you collect xn minus 1, xn minus 2 and so on. Now the question is whether if you make a DTMC backwards and that sequence, that sequence of random variable, that is of course it is a stochastic process, whether this is going to be a DTMC. Any stochastic process is going to be a DTMC if it satisfies the Marco property and the state space is uh, discrete and the time space is also discrete. But if you see this uh, the DTMC backward that is also going to satisfy the Marco property the way the given situation the future depends only on the present not the past history that is a Marco property. The same thing is going to be satisfied in the reverse also the Marco property is satisfied by the reverse uh, the backward DTMC. Therefore, this is also going to be a time homogeneous discrete time Marco chain. Now, I am going to define what I am going to give how to find out the one step transition probability for the reversible process that you take it as the matrix Q that consists of elements q, i, j. You can find out the entries, the q, i, j that is nothing but what is the probability that the system will be in the state j at the nth step given that it was in the state i at the n plus 1th step that is a different from the original DTMC. The original C DTMC it is a what is the probability that the system will be in the x n plus 1 in the state j given that x n was i. Whereas here it is a x n is equal to j given that x n plus 1 is equal to i. This conditional probability you can compute in this way the product of probability of x n is equal to j multiplied by the probability of x n plus 1 is equal to i given that uh, x n is equal to j divided by what is the probability that uh, x n plus 1 is equal to i. That is same as the probability of x n is equal to j is nothing but in a steady state sorry in a what is the probability that uh, in at the nth stage in the system in being the state that is equal to pi j multiplied by what is the probability that this is a one step transition probability of system is moving from j to i. 
divided by pi i. That means uh, the q i j is going to be pi j p j i divided by pi i. Assuming that the stationary distribution exists, otherwise pi j is equal to limit n tends to infinity of p i j n. Now, I am going to give the definition of a time reversible. A DTMC is said to be a time reversible DTMC if both the transition probabilities are one and the same. That means, uh, the one step transition probability of the new or the time reversible process q i j is same as what is the one step transition probability of the original DTMC that is p i j. That is the reverse DTMC has the same transition probability matrix as the original DTMC. Now, I am going to equate this the q i j is equal to this much. Therefore, that is same as pi j of p j i is equal to pi i of p i j. And if this equation is going to be satisfied, then that DTMC is going to be called it as a time reversible Markov chain. And this collection of equation for all p i j, that equation is called a time reversibility equations. Now, I am going to give the few results on time reversible Markov chain. Let me take a irreducible DTMC. If there exists a probability solution that is a pi is a vector satisfies the time reversibility equations that is a, the vector pi consists of a pi 1, pi 2 and so on. So, if that entries satisfies the time reversibility equations that is pi i is equal to pi i times p i j is equal to pi j p j i for all pairs of i comma j, then the DTMC has a positive recurrent states and also it is a time reversible and the solution pi is a unique stationary distribution. That means, uh, whenever you have a irreducible DTMC and if you have there exist a probability solution vector pi satisfies the time reversibility equation, then we can conclude the DTMC has a positive recurrent states as well as that DTMC is a time reversible Markov chain. Also, the vector pi that satisfies the time reversibility equations, that vector pi is a unique stationary distribution. So, the how we can one can use the time reversible concept in finding the stationary distribution that I am going to explain in the next example. Let me take a simple example which consists of four states. It is a finite model, finite state space. Also, it is irreducible because each state is uh, communicating with each other states. And uh, I assume that the probability p that is lies between 0 to 1. Therefore, this is going to be a, a periodic uh, states. So, this Markov chain is a finite irreducible and you have the result uh, for a finite uh, irreducible Markov chain at least uh, one state is going to be a positive recurrent. So, since uh, it is a irreducible all the states are of the same type therefore, all the states are going to be a positive recurrent states and also it is a periodic. So, you can use the result of a irreducible, a periodic, a positive recurrent and also the finite states going to give the unique uh, stationary distribution and that can be computed by solving pi p is equal to pi, where pi is the stationary probability vector. Here you can use the time reversibility concept. Therefore, you do not want to solve actually pi p is equal to pi, but uh, you can start from the time reversible equation from that you can get the solution that is what I have done it in this example. First I have checked it is irreducible, 
then I check whether the time reversible equation is going to be satisfied by this irreducible Markov chain. So, since it has the four states, I am just checking all the states whether irredu whether the time reversible reversibility equations are going to be satisfied that is satisfies. Since uh, it is uh, you see the previous result for a irreducible DTMC if there exists a probability solution that means I started with uh, there exists a solution, but uh, since I know the result it is a irreducible a periodic uh, positive recurrent and the stationary distribution exists. Therefore, I started with the probability solution pi and I have checked it the time reversibility equations uh, for the example also. Then I am concluding it is going to have a unique solution. So, I have checked. I have verified whether I have verified the time reversibility equations. After the time reversibility equations from that I am getting the pi n in terms of pi naught because the way the recursive relation goes you can make out a pi 1 from the first equation you can get a pi 1 in terms of pi naught. Then the second equation pi 2 you can get it in terms of pi 1 then in turn you can get a pi 2 in terms of pi naught. Similarly, you can get a pi 3 in terms of pi naught. Now, you have to find out what is pi naught. Pi naught you can use the normalization equation that is a summation of a pi a is equal to 1 that is a pi naught plus pi 1 plus pi 2 plus pi 3 that is equal to 1. From that you can get a pi naught is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus p divided by 1 minus p, p square by 1 minus p whole square plus p cube by 1 minus p whole power 3. So, this is going to be the pi naught substitute pi naught in this pi n therefore, you got the you get the pi n also. So, we are getting the unique stationary distribution because this DTMC is a time reversible therefore, without solving the pi p is equal to pi you are using the time reversibility equation itself and uh, summation of a pi a is equal to 1 you are getting the pi a's. So, that is a easy way whenever the DTMC is going to be a time reversible Markov chain. So, in this example we have uh, used the time reversibility property to get the unique uh, stationary distributions. In the result we said uh, there is a and the solution pi is a unique stationary distribution. So, in the results needs only the proof uh, whether the pi is going to satisfy the equation pi p is equal to pi. So, that can be easily proved by taking summation of uh, pi i is p i j that is same as summation over uh, i pi j of p j i because it satisfies the time reversibility equation we can write a summation over i pi i times p i j same as a summation pi j p j comma i that is same as you can take out the pi j outside that is same as the summation over i the p j i and you know that uh, the summation over i the p j i that is going to be 1 therefore, this is going to be a pi j. So, hence we get uh, summation over i the pi i of uh, p i j that is equal to pi j. So, this is nothing but uh, in the matrix form pi p is equal to pi. So, whenever you have a irreducible DTMC and satisfies the time reversibility equations, then you have a unique solution uh, pi and that pi unique solution is a stationary distribution. So, and also you can prove easily it has the positive recurrent state and the time reversible Markov chain also. So, with this, uh, with this proof we have got the result uh, the pi is going to be a unique stationary distribution and also I have given 
the example how to use the time reversibility equations to get the unique stationary distribution.